and welcome. Uh, we're back again for another season. Um, back at well for game at season. Quite a bit to talk about. Uh, Ryan, as always, it's a pleasure having you on, mate. Hello, pal. Uh, yeah, I mean, pre season, bit of a mixed match and all sorts. Behind, you know, games cancelled, behind closed doors. What own game we had, we won. Uh, sorry, there, Ryan. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, we'll get on about the players and manager in a bit, but. You take on pre-season. I, I, to, to be fair, if it, my opinion, I think it was one of the poorest I've, I've ever been involved yeah, in. Uh, been it's, been weird. Fun, it's been a funny old time, hasn't it? Mm. Um, we've gone from, you know, missing out at Wembley and, I mean, you know, as, as disappointing as that was, being, you know, very optimistic about the season coming up. Um, and it's just sort of gone, sort of body blow after body blow. There's been some positives in there. You know, I mm. think we've made a few good signings. Um, but oh, yeah, it's not been great. The nine-one defeat by Leeds, although we're just on a training pitch. You know, we don't know who played, who didn't play. But nine-one <laughs> is not good in anyone's book, is it? We, we, we've leaked quite a few goals. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a funny one, mate. It's not. It's just been a bit strange. Like we, we like you say, we get games behind closed doors and not not really picking up. You know, any. In, any wins of note, have we? The teams that we're beating have been teams that have been below us. Mm. Uh, teams that we should be beating, really. So, yeah, not... Get ready for football season proper to start, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I think you can read too much into pre-season, you know, pre-season games, should we say. Not about what's gone on behind the scenes pre-season, obviously. The pre-season, you can read a little bit too much into them. Mm. Uh, I think somebody posted, I think somebody posted a lot on Twitter saying, yeah, but you remember this pre-season, we, had, we were absolutely brilliant, we thought we were going to rock league, <laughs> we were terrible. <laughs> so, Maybe other way around. <laughs> well, we'll see, we? we'll see, we'll, come, see. We'll, we'll see come Saturday. Uh, like I said, after when Blue and Wolf Swift on from back, but I mean, uh, Neil Gafford in charge, uh, brought John Stead in, so obviously Neil Collins come up at Pond to us. Uh, players gone, we kind of expected uh, Mads to go all the time. Brad's more than likely we're going to go, although we're hoping that it wouldn't be number yeah. one. Uh, but again, players, what's come in? Uh, if I'm being honest, relatively, I don't know much about him. I, I know a bit more about Corey O'Keefe. Max Watts, yeah. again, we know from his previous loan spell. And other players, you kind of read up on them, and the seem to have done all right. Andy Dallas being one of them at Chesterfield, but again, League One. A uh, lot of games, uh, Ryan, uh, tempo. Again, is it all being well, we're going to sit off front, front foot and we're not going to be playing catch-up after a month or two? Yeah, I think... But it's going to be very interesting to see, right? From the manager, mm. I think it's a good appointment myself. I think it's a really good appointment. Um, okay. I might be wrong. <laughs> you know, so the style of play? You know, can tell. So style of play of that, Ryan? Um, I like. Well, I mean, what I saw on Saturday, from what mm. I saw on Saturday at Oakwell, I, I, I would, I was particularly impressed with this style of play. To be fair, and, and it's, again, it's difficult to tell with pre-season because neither side are going hundred percent, especially the last game before pre-season because nobody, nobody wants to get injured, do they, and, and go ruin, ruining the start of the season. But the, the didn't seem to be much long ball, which I really, which I, I really liked because I hate long ball. Yeah, good point, Matt. Yeah. Because we're no good, we, we were no good at it. Um, you know, the amount of time Liam Kitchen just. Just passes went wayward last season, you know, and obviously the season before it would even more, it would be even more entrenched in the type style, you know, way that we played on it, and didn't get it very far, did it? So, mm. I, I think it's a good appointment from the manager. I'm really excited to see what he can do. Bringing John Stead in, I think, is also a, re- a massive positive. The guy he's played over 700 games in the AFL, knows what onion bag is. Obviously, he's going there as an assistant coach, not a striking coach, but obviously his his experience and his you know his his skill set will will obviously bring on bring on the strikers as well. I think so. From that point, I'm pretty positive about that. I were gutted to lose Michael Duff, but you know we move on, don't we? Move on. Still, um, still be bound. I'm just up in these. I think you know we've had some half decent signings, haven't we? We said I swear there's some decent signings. You know, I think Matt's, bringing Matt's Waters, Waters back is a good idea. Um, the Andy Dallas one, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what that lad can do. I think he might be a hidden gem because there are a lot mm. of sides after him. Mm. And I've watched a lot of his videos on YouTube. All right, granted, it's National League, but he knows Still what he knows is, wasn't it? 21 goals, it I think. He gets himself in positions and, 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 he, can, and he, he can tuck them away. And, and that's a 
a lot of the time it's a skill you know it's natural isn't it it's a skill that you can't really teach you can hone it but that mm. that natural na- natural knack and that natural ability to know where onion bag is like norwood does mm. you know it's it's um it'll be a massive advantage for us so i'm i'm really excited to see what he can do the other non league signings um I think they're saying that what one will be for the future, won't it? Did you see Kieran Lofthouse a bit future? I think Neil mm. Collins said mm. in interviewing Chronicle. Um, mm. Who was the other one? Lopatar as well. Mm. What I've seen of him so far, I think he's again. I think he's a bit like Mads one when he first came, a bit raw. But I think there's a, I think there's some talent in there. Mm. Mm. Um, is he ready for the rough and tumble of League One? I suppose we're going to find out, aren't we? Mm. Um, yeah. Um, Time will tell on but, that, but looks in it. But like you said, the last thing we want is to do what we did last season, which is get off to a you know a slow start and then playing catch up rest of the season. Because I think if we'd have got a strong start last year, we would have had a really good chance of going up automatic. Hmm. Yeah, good point. I mean, like I said, some players are coming and going. Um, I get where you go with uh, Wapita, um, Casper at, at back, a similar mould and frame as Mads. I just hope he settles into the game. A bit quicker than Mads when Mads first yeah. came to uh, uh, Barnsley. I think COVID time helped Mads out a bit. Um, also, having Saul Bauer as well and Ellicott side yeah. also brought best start. So again, relatively new defense defensive partnerships going off. New goalkeeper, a lot of understanding and trust and building needs to be done via yeah. uh, on the same wavelength. That was called last season, I think. Um, Again, I think Andy Dallas, I've seen a quite a few Chesterfield fans who are raving about him. I think 21 goals last season. And it, like you said, it doesn't matter what league you're in, if you score 21 goals, you know where back at net is. The, yeah. the net on pitch ain't going to shift position. It's not going to move halfway line or out. It's going to be there. So again, if he's a proven goal scorer, yeah, it might need a bit more, um, not as got as much time. But again, if he knows it back at his turn and shoot and I think that's what we've been missing for a bit. So again, a lot, a lot of positives, a lot of positives uh, for me. Um, and people say, yeah, but the, you know, they're coming from lower leagues and that. But you look at players what we have got from leagues below us, and they've come on to be decent players, if not uh, very good players for Barnsley. Yeah. So Decent again, Matt Roberts. Yeah, Matt Roberts, Kuro Uran. He were at Plymouth, I think, in League Two at time. So again, yeah. it's it's just having that understanding, belief. Um, and again, a structure which I think Neil Collins, like you touched on earlier with John Stead, Martin Devane still involved. I think we'll have yeah. some kind of foundation there. So, a few positives here. Uh, yeah. going into the game, I mean, before we get to the game, there's been so, certain stuff come out, um, uh, about the, the standing at all. Well, not just at all, well, but across football leagues in general. I mean, a bit of contentious one, this me, I, you know, the wanting an atmosphere at club. Has there been any dangerous incidents with? People standing in thing, in in stands. Personally, I had heard out. I had heard not, not at Oak, not not at Oakwell, no. Um, um, and again, it, it goes back to the. It's it's a long age debate this about safe standing area, and it's all about the cost. And if you've got to do it in home, fan, got to do it for away section. And but surely, surely now, you know these regulations are coming out that they're going to be so called clamping down it for. Uh, to meet the requirements and all this and that other. Surely now the club have got to be, and not just Barnes, by the way. Oh, the VFL, uh, yeah. There's a few, yeah, VFL need to be looking at now to not relax the, uh, what can I say, relax the requirements for law and terminology about it, but also if we can just have it for the own fans, and if it works for you, then why can't we do it for away fans? Uh, it's yeah. gonna, otherwise, it's going to be tit for tat, isn't it? Away fans are going to stand up regardless. They, they yeah. do. Everyone, everyone stands up away. You don't. Well, not every, yeah. but the vast majority. I think what we've got to be constant. You've got to be respectful of fans that do want to sit down. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think having safe standing would would solve that because then you've mm-hmm. not got being there. Yeah. Fans and people are stood. That some are stood. Some want to be sat down. And it's it's a difficult mm-hmm. scenario, isn't it? You know, somebody wants to sit down. Other, other others want to stand up. You end up frack, frack, You know, you know, arguing amongst themselves. I think if you if you have a section that's safe standing. And then a section that's seated in Ponty End, and the rest it's of it, ca- everyone else is obviously seated. Because like, it kind of already happens, doesn't it? At all, well, in Ponty End. Yeah, that, that's yeah. our side. I mean, I sit, we, we, we do stand up and sit down, but most of the time we're sat down and stand up when it starts getting a bit giddy. But I'm a, I'm, a, I'm in OR4 in, in Ponty mm. End. Um, 
But I'd, I'd be happy to go in in, start, in say standing if 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 they make if they make it available. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's difficult one for the club. I know it's it is disappointing what they've said. But also, they've got to be seen to be saying it as well, haven't they? So they've kind of got to be seen to be saying it because it is an all-seater stadium mm. and they're not supposed to stand, but we do. Obviously, we understand, we as football fans understand that standing is where the singing comes from, where the atmosphere comes from. Sitting down, you just don't get that, do you? You're not mm. singing while you sat down here. So, I kind of appreciate where the club are coming from, especially if there's a clampdown across the EFL. They've sort of got to be seen to say it. You know, if they, if they haven't said it and there's an incident, you know, would that would that would that leave them in would that leave them in trouble? But it's just ironic how they send out. You know, we get that message from Khalid saying we want the atmosphere, we want yeah. the we yeah. want the atmosphere back, and then it next breath they're telling us we all need to sit down. So uh, again, what, I mean, you can't really blame club as such because they're trying, but they're being told from above. So, They've got to the line, mate. They've got to the not, line. They've I've been seen on, to be saying it, haven't they? Kind of thing. Yeah, I've been, been on back. Safety advisory board's website and it are it all goes into terminology and rules and regs and this other. And I'm thinking, well, hold on a minute, I've going to implement it like you said, Vita away fans. You know, it's it's they all stand it's, it's gonna it's it's gonna be for me, this will be unfair on the club getting fined for such as own fans and being clamping hard on that, yet the away end, it's gonna be not turn a blind eye, but be a bit more relaxed on it because it's gonna be and you know what Which, I mean? And that's, I think that's going to be a bit of a grey area, that. Yeah. I mean, if you go to like places like Derby and stuff behind goal, the all stand, that mm-hmm. stand behind goal where, where next to the away end is. Mm-hmm. And that's where their atmosphere comes from. And it's, mm-hmm. it's, I think it's going to have an effect across the whole the whole football leagues, mate. I, I mean, to be fair, I've been to, I've been to grounds where I thought, you know, if we score here, I'm going to have to grab kids and move to the side because otherwise we're going to end up four or five rows down. I don't want my lad getting crushed and stuff like that. So, yeah, to, you yeah. Know, sometimes, and he wants to be up there singing in all the time. I'm panicking a bit. And I'm thinking, if I went to Bolton away, we were right up at top and seats are not like at Oakwell. They're right down by by, me, by your ankle, really, the back of the seat of the row in front. Mm-hmm. And there were people stood right behind. We were on back row, but there were people stood on row be, on thing behind us on windowsill. And I thought, it was actually a game where we drew nil-nil. But if, if they scored, Christ knows, it'd have been a, it'd been a right... You know, all right, carry on. It, it, <laughs> um, so I can understand where they're coming from, but it, it it does it does have an effect on the atmosphere, doesn't it? When you when when you're told to sit down all the time. So yeah, I'm just uh, keep refreshing uh, Twitter, and there's more and more rumors coming out now. Adam Oxley, Doug O'Kane, uh, Adam Oxley says is uh, understand the, the pictures circulating around at 32 year old in an oldham shape. It looks imminent. Press for gathering at um, Oldham Athletic. So again, well, yeah. I think we'll wait to see if it happens. But I, I, I don't understand. No, we're dropping down to the bottom of that nation. <laughs> no, national league. You know, what I mean? a weird one. Uh, and you know, he started against Crew in pre-season. He scored didn't he after three minutes? Scored after three minutes. He scored four in, in there. But I don't know. I mean, has he been told he's going to be playing a bit part? Has he decided that that's where he wants to go? I don't think he's, he's got. He's from down south, isn't he? I don't think he's got any affiliation with going back to no. like a boy or club or anything. And you think if you were going to leave Barnsley, he'd have gone to Wrexham because they've been. Well, been that's where all links for. He'd have been on a payday, wouldn't he? Mm. So it's not going to be down. First of all, if he does, if it is, and he has gone to Oldham, it's a strange one for me. It's, it's not going to go down well, is it? It's not going to go down think, well. I can't think that Oldham are going to pay much money for him. No, well, it's not going down well. I'm unless we're, unless we're bringing another striker in, mate. I, 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 go, go on, I can't see that happening because uh, I saw something weeks saying they've got like quite a few selection choices there. Uh, but on back of that, Doug O'Kane saying, Meanwhile, whereas are closing a new centre back signing, so yeah, again, that's it'd French be, kid, be very it? weird. Well, that, on the yeah. daily tyke, that French kid, uh, French like well, we've well, we'll got get... good reviews to be fair from, from, his, from his hometown club. We'll well, get on about he's a decent player. Uh, Port Vale game. If any fault happens, then we'll we'll bring it to you when it is. Uh, so yeah. yeah, coming to Port Vale game. Uh, you know, I, I think that side what started bad in Norwood uh, up to up to now. Uh, I think that side that started against Crew Ryan more or less will be the starting eleven. You'd think, you know. I uh, think so because we've not brought the centre back in yet, haven't we? So I think you know, in Chronicle, he did say that John Williams will be playing at right back, right wing mm-hmm. back. Mm-hmm. This uh, coming season, so that would suggest then that you know they're going to have the the idea is he ain't going to be playing centre back 
Callum um, Styles. Um, Callum Styles playing, yeah. Well, I think he'll play definitely. I mean, mm. nobody's bought him yet, so we'll use him while we've got him. Absolutely, mm. especially with Adam Phillips not being able to play because he's got a man at match and all, didn't he? He was best player by a mile, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. I was really, really, really impressed with him, I have to say, because he's, you know, some players can go out there, you know, a lot of them sulk, don't they, because they're not getting the move, they're not getting the move away. You know, last season, he didn't do that, although he weren't overly brilliant, he still played well in them games up until he left. Uh, you know, last one being Ipswich game, won it away, when he yeah. scored another and all. And then, you know, he's played throughout pre-season. Neil Collins says his, his, his attitude's been you know, second to none. And I think he proved that on Saturday because he, he were brilliant. He played really, really well. You know, he were head and shoulders above everybody on that field. So, you know, if we can keep him for the rest of the season, then that, that, that'd that be amazing. I think if he can play like that, um, I think what will probably happen is he'll, he'll go back end at transfer window. But mm. whilst we've got him, mate, we've got to play him. Yeah, true. Uh, like I said, Adam Phillips is going to be out for three games. Yeah. Another player that's going to be missing by looks in it. Uh, we've just been talking about it off air and it's uh, been mentioned by Adam Oxley. Is it, uh, I forgot his name. I was been looking at him. Favourite player. Luca Connell, possibly yeah. missing. And again, another player that's not been involved in pre-season. So again, picking up some kind of injury, but he's going he to keep a bit of a knock and then he's been, mm. he's been ill, hasn't he? They were saying he's not he's with illness. Um, mm. But he had it a couple of times in season as well. I don't know if he's got like a condition that Maybe, you know, that maybe he suffers with and it, it flares up every now and again. You know, who knows? But he seems to have been off ill um, a few times, hasn't he? So, I don't know if that's just unlucky or whether he's got a bit of a condition that he carries that he, you know, occasionally forces him to not be able to perform to his best. Right, I've just got some news. Yeah. Um, about... Norwood, which I'll see if it does come to fruition uh, and just see what happens. But apparently, two clubs were interested in him Wrexham and Oldham. Um, rumor has it at the moment it might be only a loan deal. So, read into that what you want. But if I get any confirmation through, if I get any confirmation through, and then I will. But, uh, Mm, be interesting, that. Be interesting. But... Be interesting to see what's happening. I, I just don't understand the. Yeah, get back to that in a minute, man. So yeah, I mean, right. Port, Port Vale. I mean, you'd like to think it's a winnable game, Ryan. Uh, playing. It is. I mean, we had we had we played him three times last season. Didn't we once in Pizza Cup and twice in League. We drew drew at Oakwell. Then we and then they beat us in Pizza Cup, and then um, then we beat them three one at their place, didn't we? When we're a bit better form, so. You know, it's fair to say last season we were pretty, pretty, uh, pretty even. I'd say mm-hmm. was uh, I think we scored the most. Just, I think it was just one more goal over three games, wasn't it? So it's it's, it's pretty even. Um, but we'll see what with it. They've made quite a few new signings. Um, I knew quite early on they'd already made five. I don't know if they've made any more since then. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll see. I mean, what they finished twelfth, something like that. So they'll be hoping for a terrible, they'll be hoping for a better season. I would have thought and. Mm-hmm. We'll see what happens, won't we? We'll see. We'll see what happens. But I, I would, hope, I would hope for a home win um, to kick off a season. Um, what do you think? That I mean, rumours going about that it could be either Kitchen or Luca Connell be captain. Obviously, if captain, if captain, if Connell's out, you know, the captaincy will be going to Kitchen, but. Who would you like to see as, as the captain now? Mads has gone round. Liam Kitchen. Liam I mean, Kitchen, yeah. Yeah, I think I think, I think he's been you know he's been at the club at the longest. I I think he's I think he is a you know a sort of a natural leader. He's got that bit of fire in his belly, and he? he's got a lot of experience under his belt as well, playing for Barnsley and also play, playing in EFL. I think it's a you know Luke Connell came to us and, and he were personally he were my favourite player last season. Yeah. Um, I thought he was absolutely brilliant, but he's still a young lad. And, you know, that last season with his first sort of experience, you know, his first sort of level of EFL experience, Liam Kitchen's got a lot more under his belt. So for me, it makes sense to to give it to Liam Kitchen. Liam Kitchen. No, no, no worries. Uh, I know there was some kind of debate going off saying it was between that. So it will be interesting to see who Neil Collins finally decides on who will be captain. And if it were one or other, you'd like to think that other one would be like club captain if. 
if one's that kind of thing to step up to that. For me, I, I'd sell Luke O'Connell, but I get where you're coming from with Kitchen. Yeah. I think there's two characters there. I'm not a believer in having a goalkeeper or a striker as a captain, like someone in defence or midfield can see it. Luke O'Connell, again, midfield, likes to dictate play, get behind the ball and start things off. Lee Kitchen at the same hand. He likes to fetch ball, likes and try and dictate it. And he's got obviously, yeah. so I think two, two decent contenders here for that. Going into the game, again, Barry Norwood, if he does go there, who would you have up front? They start to be Norwood and Devante Cole, we trust the two from last season. If Norwood does go, you'd be looking at no uh, sorry, you'd be looking at Devante Cole plus another. Um and again, who would you give? I mean, I I I want to see Dallas me. Yeah, I, I do really want to see Dallas. see Dallas, but I think he'll probably go with Waters, I would have suggested. But he's been mm. playing Oli Shaw quite a bit as well, hasn't he? In in pre-season. So mm. But it, it does it does look like he's going to be on bench, Dallas. So or he's mm. going to be in the squad, is what they've said. Whether he'll be mm. starting eleven or not, I don't know. We'll have to see. Mm. Will we? Be interesting. Yeah. Be interesting. I think, I think that's probably more more likely. Um, yeah. God, I hope no. Oh, it's just not coming. Come like coming as a uh, impact sub, uh, Dallas. I take that all day long. Yeah. Um, and again, it's going to be interesting one this bit time we get around to Port Vale because is it. Is now it looks like it will be going to Oldham, uh, but not confirmed as at minute. So again, by the time you watch this, um, it, <laughs> by the time you watch this, it'll probably already be signed still delivered. But at least we brought you back. Kind of news I don't understand what's going on there because he played last Saturday and he seemed to be playing the players he's going to be playing this week. You know that's what he was aiming at. That's why Adam Phillips weren't playing. He's not because he's not going to knock. He can't play him for three games. Yeah, yeah. It made sense to play not to play him and, and give other lads a run out that are more likely going to be playing. Mm. So it's curious yeah. as to why Norwood would start, but he did only play 45 minutes. So weird, isn't it? Whether it were a so Port Vale, I mean, kind of agreed on the system, the style that we need to kick off straight away. Yeah. Uh school prediction time. I mean, what, what are you going to be going for school prediction? And who do you think will be most influential player, Ryan, uh, for Barnes? Uh, most influential player will be Callum Styles. Hmm. Um, yeah. I think he'll definitely be playing. He's not nobody signed him, so he's, de he's definitely going to be playing. Um, and if he, if he's out like he was last week, he'll definitely be most influential player. Score predictions, I'd probably say I'm going to say 2 0 Barnsley. 2 0 Barnsley. Yeah. Uh, I get where you're coming from with Styles. I think if he what we saw in him, we were linking up well, making some decent runs and all to for split balls through. Some uh, some great balls, game play through to him and opening uh, defence up. And people say, yeah, we're only crew, but at the end of the day, still need to create spaces, no matter who you're playing. So yeah. for me, I think I'm, I, if Luke O'Connell had been playing, that's Luke O'Connell, but obviously been being out. So you're looking for that kind of creativeness. I want to go Callum Styles. I think he's just got that bit of extra buzz, bit about him. And Neil Collins, I think, is getting a tune out on him. Yeah. A bit like what Ishmael did, to be fair. Uh, when when he when he were at yeah. Barnsley, so I'll go with that. I'm going to go three one. I think there'll be goals in it, but I just think we've got that tendency at back sometimes where we can be found wanting. Uh, we saw it a bit earlier on, got away with a few bit early, you know, early okay. scares. Okay. Uh, but again, you know, I'd take two out. I'd, I'd take three one. I'd just take a win, and I think at the moment in time we saying we've got a new gaffer in, new assistant. Some new players in, new goalkeeper, more or less a new back, back line. There's a lot of unknowns, uncertainties going off. So I think uh, a win a be, is a requirement, being at home. Expectations are here. But I think in reality, you can't take anybody for granted. So I'll, I'll go with you on that, Ryan. I'll go with you on that, mate. I'm, I want to go Styles for influential player, but I'm going 3 1. You're going 2 0. Well, uh, both can agree if it's going to be a, a balance win all being well. Yeah, I, th I think I think yeah, definitely I agree with that, mate. If we can just get the three points, and get off to get off to get off to a solid start, um, and maybe the maybe the performance comes second. Yeah, yeah. But let's let's get let's get three points in the first game. Let's back yeah. the, you know, let's let's get off to a good start. I think three points. You can look at performance. We can analyze it. We have gone wrong. What we could have done better. But if we've got three points in bag. I'd, I'd take that all day long rather than having no points, but we played all right. It's like, oh, how did we lose that game? I'd rather take this moment in time. Let's get off to a bit of a keeping top eight at the table kind of thing. I'm not like yeah. 
uh, if on if puts some maybe's own game and we want to be picking points up at home games. So yeah, I agree with you on that. If you're watching back on this, which you will be because it's not alive, please like, subscribe, and share. Let us know your comments below. It, it's all right. It's first game of the season, so we're gonna have all this time. <laughs> oh god, I've only not, been hey, and I've only been on tea and all. I haven't even been on uh, popper out like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I've been on any uh, beer. Uh, so yeah, when you're watching back, <laughs> please leave comments below. Let us know who you think will be a uh, score, influential player, all stuff like that. Appreciate everyone for watching. I'm already for football season to kick off. I know I am because I'm losing the plot and it's like first game at season, so it's going to be a long all season this one. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, one thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>